OK, for this question, it's testing whether or not you can plan out an algorithm with pseudocode or a flowchart. I'd find it much easier to draw a flowchart, but you can write the pseudocode for it, um, as long as it does all of the things in the bullet point um, at the top just here. So let's go through the bullet points and work out what we need to do. First of all, we need a variable called answer, and we need to set that to mobile. So if you're doing a flowchart, remember you start and end with a terminator that's a rectangle with, with rounded edges um, with the word start or stop in. So this is the start of your um, algorithm. So we've got a terminator with start in. Then we need to save the value of something. So we're going to set a, um, a variable called answer to the value mobile. Um, you'd get the mark for it if you didn't have um, quotation marks, but it would be a good idea to put them. Uh, and this is a process, this is something that we're doing, so it goes in a rectangle without rounded edges. Apologies for my drawing, it's not very um, clear. Then um, it says that we need a new variable called guess, and we set that to whatever the user types in. So. Um, I'll make a new variable called guess, um, and you can put input or user input or anything sensible, um, or you could use the, the little arrow if you're doing it in pseudocode like that, it's hard for me to type. Um, so I want to set guess to whatever you, the user input is. Um, and this is an input or output, so we need a parallelogram for that, it's like a slanty rectangle. Remember, you must draw your arrows if you want to get marks for the flowchart. You must point in the right direction. Then we've got a decision. So does the user type in mobile? And if they do, it says winner. If not, we loop around and get them to ask again. OK, so we need a decision. And we're testing to see if um, the user has typed in mobile. So you could have um, is guess equal to um, mobile. Or, probably it would make more sense to say, is guess equal to answer? So are our two variables the same? Um, so I just write a question like that, put that inside a diamond for a decision. And then we've got two possible outcomes, one for yes and one for no. Um, so if we get it right, then we want to output or print or display the fact that they're a winner. And this again is an input or output, we're displaying something to the screen, so we need a parallelogram. And then once we've done that, we've finished, so we can stop a terminator, so stop the program. That's a terminator, so it's a roundy rectangle. These are roundy edges, honestly. But if we get it wrong, if the user doesn't type in mobile, then we need to get them to guess again. So the most efficient way of doing this would be just to loop back round. Um, to get them to um, to guess again. So we start the program, variable called answer, which we set to mobile. We ask the user to type something in and save the results in guess. Is what they type in equal to what's stored in answer, which is mobile? Yes, they've won, or no, we get them to ask again. We keep looping around until they've guessed it right.